he said he had a shaft that had a hard surface on it for running roller bearings directly on it. You see this a lot of times in transmissions where the input shaft and the main shaft inside the transmission, they turn at different speeds and they will have a uh, set of bunch of roller bearings in there. He talked about this being uh, worn down some, grooved, some kind of damage. He wanted to know what kind of rod to weld it up with, what to do with it. This is really a problem. Um, we don't know what the shaft is made out of. There's generally a spline that starts right nearby where this part is, so it's very hard to get in there, do a good weld, not mess with the splines. One of the best ways to fix this is just to take your shaft and you have the small area there, splines here, and you turn this down a little bit, just undercut it a little bit to a smaller diameter, and then you make, uh, or you buy normally, from Torrington will have hard roller, hard uh, inner races that'll just go on there. You machine it so that those will fit on. That's one simple way to do it. Another thing that I've done before, it's not necessarily approved, but is I use some Welco mold. I won't remember the number. It was a high speed steel uh, material that I put on a shaft and used for an application like this. I don't recommend it. Usually you're going to get some little fractures in between and due to the point loading from the rollers it's usually going to fail. The fact it worked for me once doesn't mean that it's a good idea. Now, another thing which is a, an alternate method on these many times, in a transmission it can work but you got to watch out because rollers will work with a minimum amount of lubrication. You can replace them with a bushing. If this is not on a race car, if it's on an old truck or something, you can replace that with a bronze, aluminum bronze bushing and make a place for the oil to go in there. You might open up the splines a little bit. It needs more oil. You may have to raise the level of the oil in the transmission for it to let live. But you've got to have oil on it. It's going to take more lubrication, but it can be fixed on a slightly undersized surface or built up a little bit. That kind of a repair works great on the ones on a front axle of a four-wheel drive where they have a roller bearing um, going out to the front axles, to the left and right axle. You'll see that a lot of times where they're chewed up. Those roller bearings get a little bit of dirt in them. They're garbage. I almost always, if I have problems with those, I'll make a bronze bushing for them. It's grease. It's slow speed. It holds up forever. But as far as perfect fix, doesn't exist. You could make a whole new piece, lots of money.